Shakatu's Resplendent Box, or better known as Scam Boxes, are one of the most notorious items to ever hit the Pearl Shop. Even though they are bought with silver, 500 million each, they move the entire market by maybe 20 or 30% for months at a time. They contain some of the major accessories from Pry to Tet, along with memory fragments, crons, kafras, and other interesting items. Some of the big ticket items you can get are 50,000 crons, 30,000 kafras, or even any splendid alchemy stone. Even with the chance of these insanely expensive drops, they have historically always been known as scam boxes. They inherited their name from their predecessors, the Shikatu Shiny Box, which were 100 mil each. Even though they were known as scam boxes, I was honestly pretty surprised when I got the valuation for all these boxes. In this video, we'll look at the value of Shikatu's Resplendent Box, along with Shikatu's Chest of Shinies, Rarities, and Luxuries. We'll then talk about whether or not they're worth buying if they ever return to the shop for 500 million silver. If you haven't watched any of my valuation videos before, the way we value how much a box or item is worth is by first getting the rates from the official Black Desert Online website. We then get the silver value of the items you obtain, either from the central market or by assigning our own silver value to them. We then multiply the rate of obtaining an item by its silver value to get its contribution to the value of the box itself. We add up all the small contributions of each of the chance of getting an item to get the total value of the box itself. The Shikatu's Resplendent Box is interesting as it contains three different boxes within itself. To find its value, we need to calculate the value of all three of its smaller boxes. Luckily, those rates are also on the BDO website, so we just imported those rates in and valued each of them. First, we'll look at the Mega RNG box, the Shikatu's Chest of Shinies. Most of the item's values were taken straight from the central market, like Kafra Stones, Vel's Concentrated Magic, Garmos Hearts, and Alchemy Stones. Yes, the Alchemy Stones are worth more than the central market price, but even if we multiplied its value by 10 times, the overall effect on the box itself is still so minimal just because it's such a rare item. So for simplicity's sake, we kept it at the max market price. Even though the Dream Horse emblems are a super cool collectible, I just value them at 11 bills since that's around about how much Dream Horses are worth. Next, Cron Stones we valued at 1.635 million silver, so that's around how much it costs if you buy a costume and melt it to Crons. Overall, when added together, the Shikatu's Chest of Shinies is worth about 18.5 billion silver, which is quite insane. However, there's only a 0.15% chance to get it, so it doesn't affect the price of Shikatu's Resplendent Box by that much. Though, if you do get one, you will know that you'll get some super nice things from it. Now, we'll move on to the Shikatu's Chest of Rarities. They do have a small chance of getting the Shikatu's Chest of Shinies, which is why we valued those first. Most of the items we valued previously or are gotten straight from the central market, like pride to tet accessories. But there still is some things we had to do manually, like ancient spirit dust, which we valued as a kafra stone minus a black stone divided by 5, along with Khan's concentrated magic we valued at 3.1 billion, which was just the Khan's heart's price minus the magical shards, traces of forest, and alchemy stone shards required to make it. Also, an important note here is that since sharps and hards were combined, we just added together the shards and harps and valued them at around the current sharp prices. Altogether, we valued this box at around 642 million silver, which is more than the 500 million silver required to buy the Shakatu's resplendent box. Finally, the Shikatu's Chest of Luxuries has the exact same items as the Chest of Rarities, it just has a higher chance of getting the lower value items. We valued it the exact same way, and in total it was worth 403.5 million silver. Since this is the most common drop, it obviously pulls the value of Shikata's Resplendent Box down. Now for what you've all been waiting for. When we get the value of all three boxes, multiply it by the rates of obtaining the boxes, we get the contribution to the overall value. With all the contributions added together, the overall value of the Shikatu's Resplendent Box is 513.7 million silver. Now keep in mind that is with the current market prices, but that's still greater than 500 million silver. If you bought the Shikatu's Resplendent Box right now for 500 million silver, you'll technically gain value. Now of course, there are some important caveats to keep in mind. The number that we got isn't including taxes, so if you end up selling the items on the central market, you will lose tax. 
If you include the tax loss, the value of the box is only 434 million silver. And as mentioned previously, another big thing is that when these boxes hit the pearl shop, the items in the market always drop by around 20 to 30%, which means that you'll get even less silver and it'll be even harder to gain value. On average, you'll probably lose money if you buy these boxes when they come out. With all that being said, considering that they are called scam boxes, I was honestly pretty pleasantly surprised that they had a positive expected value. Most of this is because memory fragments are currently 4 million each, and it's a pretty common drop from the box itself. Another thing is that since hards and sharps were combined, hards no longer sit at a cap of 1.6 million and are instead the same value as sharps. In the end, scam boxes are kind of reformed and honestly not that bad of a deal. It allows its openers to get that dopamine rush for an RG item, and the loss isn't even that bad even if you dump your items onto the market. In a pure value-based analysis, it's not going to be worth opening them, but it can be a pretty fun thing to do, and it only costs in-game currencies, so it's not that big of a deal. If this required pearls, it might have been a little bit more suspicious. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and make some smart decisions in the future based on this valuation. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.